Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are going to see how to install and set up the Spacey rules and permission package in our Laravel 11 version. Okay, so now guys, let's get started. So first step guys, let's go to our Laravel documentation and let's begin with creating a Laravel new project. And here is a command guys. So let me just copy and go to a folder. So wherever you are comfortable, you can just go to that folder and create a new project. So now guys, let's open a terminal. So, yep, I have opened a terminal in this path. And now guys, let's right click to paste the command to create the project. And now let's remove the example app until Laravel 11 spacey. Okay, hit enter to create the project. So guys, let's wait until it's get completely installed. So guys, we have created the Laravel project completely and now you can close this uh, terminal. Okay. So now guys, let's go to our Laravel 11 spacey and open that in our editor. So I have already installed one VS code editor and now let us run the application. So just open a terminal and run the artisan command to serve the application PHP artisan serve hit enter to serve the application and here application starts at the local host 8000. So now guys, you can just get back localhost 8000, hit enter and here's your Laravel application. Perfect. So now guys, let us create a database. So let me just click here new and Laravel 11 spacey. Just create it. Okay. So here's my database created and now you can copy this database name and paste in your .env file. So let's move below and here guys, it's commented. So let's uncomment it by pressing control forward slash database name at the database. Okay. And here it's not SQLite. I'm using MySQL. Okay. So now we are saved the .env database configured and now guys, let's migrate it. So let me just open a new terminal here and migrate all the databases tables. Okay. So here database tables. For that, you have to enter PHP artisan migrate. Hit enter. Your migration is migrated. Okay. So, guys, let us see our tables are migrated or not. So, here you see all the tables are added. Perfect. So, now, guys, let's begin with the installing our Breeze. Okay. So, Breeze is nothing but your authentication package for login and registration. So, for that, just go and click on the starter kit here. And here is the Breeze and Blade. So, this is the command. So before this, you have to install the breeze using the composer package. So let's control C copy and paste here. Okay. And hit enter. So it start with the installation. Let me just show you. Okay. Perfect. So here you see guys, our breeze is completely installed, which is version 2.0. Okay. Now you can get back and do with the breeze install in your application. So now let's right click and just give space blade. Okay. Hit enter. And it starts the installation and building the node dependencies for this. Perfect. So guys, breeze scaffolding installed successfully done. So now you will be able to see a login and registration form. So if I refresh here, you see that login and register button has been come okay all set guys so now guys let's get started with the installing the spacey package for permissions so for that just go to your spacey spacey rules and permission hit enter and here we are let's go go to installation in laravel and you see this the composer command so let's copy this and get back just Place that and let me just show you here. Okay. And hit enter. So our spacey package for Laravel permission starts. Perfect. So here you see guys, uh, the installation for spacey Laravel permission also is installed. That is 6.7 version on Laravel 11. Okay. So now guys, let us, you can just copy this and go to your provider. So as you see, it says in config app.php, but you will not be able to find that because in Laravel 11, it's changed. So for that, you have to go to your bootstrap and here is the provider.php 
and here you have to add that okay so now provider has been added and now you can get started with uh, pushing the I mean publishing the vendor applications so yep now let's right click and hit enter to publish the files okay let me just show you so here you have published the files okay so now let me minimize and you'll be able to see that permissions.php in this okay cool so and one more thing guys if you want to set up your uh, middleware so you for that you have to just go inside this bootstrap app.php and this is the middleware okay so for example let me just show you and let's move top and search for the middleware option so here we see in the basic usage we have the middleware let's click on it and here it says on laravel 11 okay so here it's in laravel 11 open bootstrap app.php and register the middleware so let's copy this and you can just go and paste it so let me paste here and if you have any other middleware just keep on adding here guys done guys and now once everything is set up you can just migrate the files of your spacey so as you see you don't have permissions table here inside this because you have not migrated yet the spatial laravel permission so for that php artisan migrate okay hit enter and your migration will be started so it just creates a new permission table so it has many other tables in that same migration file so let me just refresh and you'll see that you have role role has permission permission and many other tables with that okay and now guys one last thing we have to set up which is about the adding a trait okay so let me just show you in the documentation so get back and you might be see the trait here okay so add the necessary trait to your user model that is has rule okay so now guys get back and go to your user model app models and here is a user dot php that is model and now let's copy this has role and paste here so let's give comma and paste it and you have to import the class that is trait has role okay so let's import and here it is okay so guys we have seen how to install the special laravel permission package in our laravel 11 version okay so guys if you want to continue with the creating crud operation for rules permission and how to assign a role just watch out these three videos guys like how to create the rules and permission crud and assign the multiple rules to the user and use the permission to protect your routes okay so everything is explained in a detailed way so this video is specially to install in the laravel 11 version okay because it is a little different from the laravel 10 so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share